Hello, my name is Christina and here we talk about multiple sclerosis and maybe something else. And today I would like to tell you about my experience with antidepressants. I don't know if it's only a thing in Russia or maybe it's a thing only about my doctors, but I had uh, I have had two neurologists so far and both of them just told me to take antidepressants without any kind of diagnosis to like to match why I have to take antidepressants. Uh, they believe, at least these two doctors I have been treated by, that just basically the fact that you have multiple sclerosis already means that you're depressed and you have to take antidepressants. And I used to take antidepressants for quite a few years, I think for the first like six or seven years with a mess, uh, because my doctor told me so. I was like, okay, well, then I will take them. I was not diagnosed with depression or any kind of syndromes or nothing. I just sometimes felt sad, which is natural when you have multiple sclerosis. It is normal to feel sad. It's a basic human emotion. You don't have to take meds when you feel sad. It's just like, I can't be happy all the time. It's just natural when I can't walk. I can't joy for, like, I can't, I can't be all joyful and jump for joy, you know? Uh, but I used to take them for the first years and now looking back at it, it I I can say that I don't like myself in the past. I wasn't kind of normal. I worked, I studied, I traveled, like I still travel, but I had a normal life, but my emotions were a bit off. You know, I was never truly sad when I wanted to cry. I just couldn't cry. I was like, oh, why not? I want to cry. I feel sad. And I could not cry or I could not be truly happy you know I was it was all a bit suppressed and uh, it, it wasn't a nice feeling but at the same time probably because uh, I was never referred to a therapist or like at least a psychologist it was just like okay my neurologist okay take this and bye and maybe it wasn't a good choice for me because I had very bad episodes of being angry, I lost my temper extremely easily, so, but I thought it was normal, that's just part of my personality now, looking back I understand that it was not, uh, and then one day I started to see a psychologist, not a therapist, but a psychologist, but I still love her, like I love her to pieces, she's one of the best people in my life, and I went off antidepressants, and I learned to experience my own emotions, my own feelings. And I'm feeling much better when I'm sad. I allow myself to be sad when I'm happy. I'm happy that I'm happy. And it's a big work and I always have to ask myself why. Why do I feel this? Why do I feel that? But it's a good experience. And then BAM! I felt not okay after Limtrada, which is okay. I don't know a lot of people who feel absolutely fine like two months post Limtrada. And I shared it with my current neurologist and she got so annoyed. She felt very annoyed with it. Can you believe my neurologist felt annoyed with her patients complaining when I told her, I feel fatigued all the time, I feel tired, like I'm tired of having a mess for so many years, like, but now it's about 13 years, I'm tired of a mess, I'm sorry, it's not a happy fact, and she's like, mm, you have to take antidepressants, I was like, why, what is my diagnosis, why, and she's like, because I told you so, because you, you have to, it's not why, because you have to, and we... Um, I said, but I want to, and she said, what do you mean you don't want to? You have to. And she texted me the name, what I have to get a prescription for. I was like, I decided not to get into a big argument, like was telling her, oh, are you a therapist right now? Or like, are you a psychiatrist right now? Why are you prescribing me antidepressants? Uh, what What is my diagnosis apart from multiple sclerosis? I just made the decision not to take them uh, because it doesn't make any sense. And I heard uh, about 
other story from my friend she also has a mess she has had a mess for about 10 years and her doctor like once asked her like oh how long exactly have you had a mess and she was like well 10 years and the doctor told her wow 10 years it's high time you started taking antidepressants purely based on this fact that you have multiple sclerosis some doctors tell you to take antidepressants without uh, considering different types of antidepressants without considering maybe your other conditions like uh, maybe some underlying conditions or complementary conditions you never know they just literally they just I'm not even joking guys they just tell you okay you have to take these antidepressants like they don't tell you the difference about different types of antidepressants nothing there it's a big deal like it changes the way you act the way you feel and of course a lot of people need to take antidepressants but uh, uh, their doctor also probably chooses this medication for them so right now I'm antidepressants free I've been antidepressants free for a few years uh, when I have this extremely low periods I consult my psychologist or I consult myself or just sleep or cry a little bit yes I know some people do experience severe depression and they need to take antidepressants but uh, tell me have you ever experienced such strange prescriptions and what is your opinion on antidepressants have you ever tried them how did you feel uh, have they helped you and uh, just on this note i'm not sharing any names of medications i have been prescribed because it's like um it's very individual from person to person and it's not about the names of medications so you can see part of my cat uh, it's about the fact that doctors don't listen to their patients some doctors and there is like zero communication uh so i wish you uh, a great day click the bell button and subscribe and uh, leave your comments below and i'll be happy to get to know you better and see you in my next video bye